right beside me here sits the tuned pipe off of a SeaDoo 717 cc engine. Now these have an inherent flaw. This one core plug, which is not a freeze plug, as some people mistakenly refer to it, it's a core plug. It's used for the casting when these are cast out of the aluminum. This core plug that's welded in has a tendency to rot out. So it corrodes from the inside and then finally culminates in a water leak into your hull. Now, it's not detrimental in any other way, generally speaking. This core plug doesn't allow water into the exhaust flow because there is an inner chamber. This is just the water jacket that's affected. So the solution to this it can be a number of things. Um, there's a company that sells little round rings that you can have welded on over the top. You could clean it all off, slap some JB Weld on there, and chances are it would hold fine for years. Um, what we're going to do today is remove this fitting, grind this down, and just TIG weld over the hole. So sealing that in with all fresh aluminum. So come along as we fix the c 717 tune pipe. First things first, we'll remove this fitting. Simple, just threads out, quarter inch pipe thread. We'll drop it in the driveway. Then we'll set that aside somewhere else. Now, we might be able to get around this little eighth inch fitting, but just for ease of filming and showing you everything, I'm going to pull that out as well. We don't want there to be any contamination with water or anything, so I'm just going to preheat the area to make sure that any water that could have got into the aluminum, because aluminum is oddly porous sometimes, especially in cast parts like this. So I'm going to preheat this just to boil off any water that could be in this area before I start welding. Okay, so I'm certainly no welder, but here's what we've ended up with. Now, there's a few things that always confuse me about aluminum, is sometimes it seems to get like random contamination, and I don't know why. Again, I'm not a welder, but usually stuff holds, it works, it doesn't leak, so there's what we're left with. Now, I made a little tower here in the middle, because when you let off the pedal, aluminum tends to like sink in. So if you add a little bit extra, then it sinks into that extra puddle and uh, no problem. And then you can just grind that off later. So I'm going to clean this up with a stainless steel wire wheel, which I've only ever used this on aluminum. So I don't think that's contaminating anything. I don't know. We'll clean it up a bit and uh, see how it looks. I'm certainly no welder, as you can tell, but we've got this thing sealed up and looking pretty good. So it's ready to go back on the machine. And 
Now, maybe you don't want to go out and buy all the equipment that I've got over here, which if you do, it's listed in the description below, but this also shows you what you need to know about getting it done. So maybe there's a friend of yours that has a TIG weld, or you know a local welding shop, you can show them what they're dealing with here, that it's cast aluminum and the core plug, they don't have to worry about what's below it. This would be something that you could use to show somebody else who knows what they're doing, what needs to be done. So hopefully it was helpful. Thanks for watching.